Hello and welcome to this Slingshot channel. Today I want to show you the work in progress regarding a completely new knife design that I'm currently doing. It's the Midgard snake. <laughs> yes, and that's why I'm wearing the Midgard Messer like Midgard Knives t-shirt that Dirk, the owner and founder, gave me since I plan to involve him into the uh, final production of this knife. Now, I thought about how to design a completely new knife that hasn't been done before. And then I had an idea about a snake that actually wraps around your fingers, like so. And, um, well, this is what I came up with. The Midgard Snake Knife. Let me show you its features, because I think this is progress in the knife world. Okay, now, it looks really funny, but you can still, of course, use it like a normal knife, but that's not the purpose. What this does is actually wraps around your fingers. So you can just wear it like this. So it looks like the knife would be in my hand, but it isn't. My hand is free and this thing cannot fall down. I mean, look at this. I can do all kinds of things with it. I can throw, I can do everything. I can clap my hands. I can use a computer keyboard or maybe be careful with the inner keys. <laughs> I could play piano with this thing if I could play piano. <laughs> And uh, I could even have one in both hands. And the beauty is I can still grab onto someone, just like normal, and still have the knife in my hand. So for like melee fighting, where I need dexterity in both my hands, I could have two knives in my hand, just like this. And I think this is the big, big, big advantage. Now, how come it's not falling down? Well, first of all, as you see, it wraps around my fingers. And if I close my hand, it absolutely does not budge. And it also is not painful to the hand because it really, really holds against all my fingers. All fingers are holding it into this position. It's not just like resting on just one finger. So because there's on the inside and on the outside, if I close my hand, it's really tightly clamped in and not painful at all. Now, the other trick is that I decided upon the size of these things here just by using my finger ring and making it a little more tight than this. And this means that this knife cannot go over my joints here. See, it stuck against the joints. So I have to, if I want to slip it off, I have to cant it and then lock it in like so. And this means that it cannot slip off my hands. It just can't. It's just not physically possible. And no attacker or opponent can grab it off me. It's impossible to take. And I think this is the beauty of this knife. It's really, really cool. So you see, I could even use other weapons at the same time, like this thing here. I can use it at the same time by holding the knife. So this is not a problem at all. And, and this is the great, great thing. So you also, I don't really need to turn it around because I can have, have two knives in each one of my hands and easily flip around. So this is the advantage. It's like an invisible knife. It's, it feels like you just have a few rings on your fingers. And by the way, you can also hit someone with it and it would probably be really painful. <laughs> a lot of the Germans will now say, oh, 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 but these are brass knuckles and those are illegal banned. So this is the German Schlagring. But that's not true because the BKA has definitely set a uh, rule up that a uh, an illegal brass knuckles in Germany like a Schlagring must also kind of press itself against the inner palm of your hand. So there's usually like a there would there would then be like a T-shaped piece on here that would then rest against my my inner palm here. But that's not the case here. So this is completely illegal in Germany. I will still make a few more iterations, like a few things that I would like to change. Now, first of all. I want to like have a ricasso here so that I can also press my thumb against it for like carving work and so on because right now this is a little uncomfortable and also I want to make it a little bit more uh, pronounced here so that in close condition it also rests a little bit against the webbing between my thumb and index finger. So these are just small changes that I'm going to do. Also, I'm not absolutely happy with the blade angle. I think the blade needs to be angled a little bit more in this direction. So I will make a few more iterations in wood and then I will give it to Midgard Knives because Dirk says that he can easily make a prototype from this just using his water cutter and then grinding it and hardening it and so on. So hopefully very soon I will be able to show you this thing here in steel. <laughs> now wouldn't that be amazing? And by the way, this is of course ambidextrous. So you can use the same knife for left-handers and right-handers. Not a problem at all. Or you can just buy two and have two. <laughs> now regarding the size, 
Of course, I have fairly fleshy fingers and I will have to give it to some people that have smaller hands than I do. But I, give, I believe that it will work for most men simply because even if you have like a little bit, you know, fatty fingers, this will squeeze in nicely. And for people with really small hands, you can still wear like tactical gloves and then be comfortable. But it is true, it's one of the disadvantages, like with everything that has like rings and so on. So even brass knuckles, where legal, have the same issue. So it is possible that we will probably make a few versions of it for bigger or smaller hands. But that's not decided. This is something we need to find out once we have prototypes. To give you an idea how I start the designs of this. So this was my first iteration and it was of course horrible. <laughs> I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. I learned this immediately after I first tried it on. So the second iteration was already a lot better. So this is, this is the second iteration as you see here. So put on the second iteration. Now much better already, but you can see there's a few disadvantages as in my knuckles are going like, like ping pong, like up and down. So this one doesn't go high enough and this one goes too high. So this kind of straight line was just not a good idea. It was clear that they have to be shifted against each other. So I made a third prototype. Now when I used this, it became clear that this one was too high now. Because my finger needs to be here and, and not here, up here. So that would be too high. It's not natural and it's not, this one would just be loose. So, and also this one was too wide for my pinky here, since the pinky is typically a lot thinner. So this is how I arrived at my next to last one. This is this one here. So this is almost like the, fi like the final one. So this one worked a lot better, um, but there's, there's a, a few things that I didn't really like. Still the pinky was too loose, so not, not pronounced enough, I mean not steep enough, the curve. And also the blade angle was really not nice. I mean it's leaning back far too much so uh, so this is I improved this now and it still needs some further improvement but this definitely was very close to the final and it still had it already had many of the features like you can't slip off and so on so this actually is now the uh, iteration five and I guess there will be two more iterations before I will give this to Dirk from Midgard Knives who is gonna turn it into a steel Midgard snake <laughs> I presented this on my Facebook asking people if they have seen something like this before because I searched but it, nothing came up and of course something similar was found by my loyal fans they're just the best but it is a little bit different because the main difference is that there is a ring here and it lacks the pinky support now the pinky support is important because you need to distribute the force over as many fingers as possible but also the rings issue here is serious why is it serious? Well, because if it's a ring, then it can slip on, just like because otherwise you wouldn't be able to slip the ring on and off. And this means that it can't lock in against your first joint here. It needs to be tighter than a ring can be. And, and then you can only get it on and off if you can actually cant it this way. So it can't be rings. Therefore, I still think that my design is better than the design that's already on the market. Plus also, it won't be made from Midgard Nessa. <laughs> Rolfi, come here hin. Sitz. Gib mir die Pote. Oh, beide Poten. Gib laut. Fine. <laughs> yeah, Rolfi and me, we say thanks and bye bye.